This is a generic tutorial on how to do brims that have knit 3 or purl 3. It also can be purl 3, knit 3. It, dep it depends on what the instructions are asking for. So we're going to start off with a slip knot. Remember here in the knitting crowd we have slower tutorials available for basics such as this. And I'm also going to do a twist and transfer cast on method. So if you prefer another cast on method you can decide to do that for yourself. So to do this method I'm just going to slip my needle into the slip knot and just wrap around the back needle and pull down and then push back up. So the knit three purl three is a combination of six stitches to make it happen. So whatever the cast on is that the pattern is stating or the video instruction, it has to be divisible by six in order to make this work. So just cast on the number that is suggesting. And if you are doing free form or whatever, just make sure it's a multiple of six for the concept. And I'll see you back here in just a few moments. So I've now just cast on and you can follow it all the way around. So you gotta make sure that when you cast on, there's enough to go around the quarter. For me, it's 14 inches from tip to tip. I have a smaller cord on here so that I can do that. So sometimes the cords are too long uh, in order to do something like this. And so you have to decide. So the number that I have on here is divisible by six, but I want you to add one more stitch and I'm gonna show you why, because there's a little trick here that experienced knitters know that I've just learned. So I'm gonna add one more stitch. So if the pattern says to do 84 stitches, then just put an extra one so it makes it to 85. This 85th one is never gonna count, you watch. I want you to slip stitch purl-wise the one you just created to put it onto this one here. So purl-wise just means just point it and just pick it off like this. So we're gonna pick this one up here, go right up over the top of the tip, right over top of this one. It does take practice. So just be patient with it. It's worth the effort, okay? And just kind of maneuver your way through. If you're a crocheter, you can probably grab it with a crochet hook too if it's easier for you. And you just wanna put this one on here so that this is the new one and let the one that you just went over dropped. And what you've done is you've now made this into an official circle using the still stitch multiple of six. I want you to grab a stitch marker and place it on and so you'll be able to know with that stitch marker when you go around. In this case, the pattern may suggest to knit the first three and then purl the next three, but it could be opposite. They may tell you to purl three and knit three. It depends on the pattern, of course, but it's still a multiple of six. So if it's knit three, purl three, just knit the first three. And on the first one, pull tight because you've just joined it. And then the second one, knit as well. And again, pull tight and then you can relax then and enjoy the rest of the round. So you're gonna knit the next one. So there is knit three, and then you're gonna purl three. The first time going around is always a bit tight and it will relax after you get this round done. So just be patient with it in order to make that happen. So once those three are purled, you're going to go back and go backward put in the yarn behind and then knit the next three, purl the next three and do that all the way around and I'll see you at the stitch marker in just a moment. So one last thing, as you're knitting, you're transferring from this side to this side as you saw. So what's happening is that as you knit on the, or purl, you are collecting more on this one. So just keep using your hands and just sliding it down. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna slide around the cord and then come back up the other side on its own. Okay, so you're gonna, with this side, you're just gonna push up and feed more, and then this side feeds down. So you can continue it in a continuous circle. So I'm coming up all the way around. The last six are still staying within the multiple. So you have knit three, and the very final three will be purl three. So if you started off differently with saying purl three and then knit three, the very last three would then be knit three. So it's just opposite to how you started, right? So you're gonna come right to the end. And it's really important that on the very first time around, if I could just actually get my damn stitch in there, um, the very first one going around is that you wanna pull tight. So move the stitch marker over, it's just resting on the needle and move it over so you can continue to count. And then when you go to start, you're gonna pull tight in the first two stitches. So just pull tight as you just go to knit the first one, use your finger, pull up on it, and do the second one also tight. And this is really the only time you have to do that except for if you're using double points in the future. So because you've attached it in the last round, you just want that attaching to be nice and tight going in. 
the rest of the rounds, you can relax and just continue to go in a circle. So if you knit the first three, then you have to purl the next three. So the stitch identification, let's talk about that. So if you're not sure what you did, see the horizontal line right here? This means that those were purls. See how this is more straight? Those were the knit stitch. So everything is in sets of three. So you got your knit stitch, you have your three purls. Knit stitch, and then three purls. So just, if you're ever unsure, just look for that and that'll help you to identify with what you see below so that you can match exactly what you have. So the next three have to be a purl because I can see the horizontal line and also because it's the right count as well that I'm, I'm doing. So you're gonna go around until the pattern says to stop. It could be a, a dimension or it could be the number of rounds. You, it, it will be telling you that and that's where I'm gonna leave you on this tutorial today.